All right, we're getting ready for the holiday spirit. My, like, my wife likes to get crazy for every holiday. So we did a little bit of the Halloween decorations going on, spider webs. See, we got the spiders on the bricks. You know, they crazy. These women love to do it for the children, and, you know, I'm a part of it. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. Got the gold, all kind of crazy stuff. And we have my yellow anaconda. Yes, guys, the gloves are off. We are officially buddies. Look, coming right to the camera. Me and this guy are officially buddies. Akon and I have made peace. After days of rapid biting, these guys are impressive. Like they, when they say they bite backwards, like I totally understand now. Like their head pivots actually, like it, they just it wicked fast. But I've I like forced handled him out of it with the gloves. I would literally put him back every every hour, and then on on the next hour I'd handle him for another maybe ten minutes, put him back. Until he got accustomed to that. When I came in this cage, I wasn't a threat. So from a lot of handling in a short period of time. Then again, this is a baby. Babies are just a little more skittish and they can be tamed down a lot faster. So this is why I like to get hatchlings and babies. With the big guys anyway. So me and this guy are good friends. I was going to wait on this video, but... uh. I handle him so damn much, I just wanted to get another video of him. Hope the lighting's coming in good. There we go. Say hi, Akon. See, I'm not a snappy little guy anymore. He's a lot better with the head shyness. He still flinches backwards a little bit. He doesn't lunge forward like before. So the spooky anaconda, I thought it would look good with the uh, Halloween stuff. My wife got it set up. What does that say? Let's see. Keep out. Yeah, we're crazy with it out here in Miami. What does this sensor thing do? Uh, I guess she turned the sensor. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, she's crazy. So, we get crazy out here, get some more colors on it, look at my yellow, yellow and a can conda. Again, this guy will be about 8 foot once I get him fed up properly. Now that he's calmed down, I'm going to probably increase his food size and see how he acts. Probably get even lazier. So, and that's uh, how you tame a yellow and a conda. Well, any snake for that matter, just... A lot of handling, mess with it a lot, risk a couple bites. Well, I didn't risk the bites, I let the gloves risk the bites. Risk the bites. And uh, show them that, listen, we're going to be friends. You and I have to get along. And we're doing a great job at it. Look at that, look at that glisten. Looking like you're wet. That is beautiful. Alright, another part of the obsession slash collection. And we are out. Let me put some music right here and just like play different, play the whole album or something, just rotating this guy around. Damn, these things is hot. <laughs> Later.